Hello folks, thanks for tuning in. Um, I've got um, a Samsung Android device here. Um, I think it's the S4 I have. Um, it's a good phone, but I've made this mistake this morning of um, deleting all of my photographs from it. Uh, quite a lot of photographs, probably about three, four months worth of photographs, videos, etc. related to family holidays, etc, um, etc. Et so quite a big thing for me. Um, so I really didn't have a clue this morning, so I just started doing a bit of research on the internet, um, and I have found a great program. Now, just to give you a wee quick look, I know this uh, camera won't zoom into it, but this is the actual program working away. And what it's doing just now is scanning the SD card, which I have plugged into down in here. As you can see, it's down in here. Okay, so. I'm going to let this run, just, um, it's, it's telling me on the, the screen here it's got another 50 minutes to run. So I'm going to let it run for the next 50 minutes or so because, I mean, there is a lot, a lot of megabytes, probably gigabytes on this card. Um, so I'm just going to let it run and I'll come back to you. Um, so stay with me. I'll be back soon. Hi folks, that's me back now for the final part of the video. Um, okay, just let's uh, hit you with my final thoughts. Um, this is a totally free data recovery uh, software that I found on the internet and I'm going to introduce it to you now. All the options, um, will, all the information and options will be available in the wee box on this video. I'm also going to do a wee blog about it as well uh, via my website gregorycooper.co.uk. Now, um, the software runs in a DOS format um, on, on here. Um, I'll slip across just across here to the other screen. This is on the Mac, and I'll give you a wee bit of information about it. Uh, the software is called Test Disk Data Recovery. That's T E S T D I S K Data Recovery. Um, it is an open source software and is licensed under the terms of the GNU General Public License. Um, there's so much information, I don't want to go through it all here because I want to keep this video as short and sweet as possible for you. A lot of information there. I had a quick scan through that earlier. i seen that it um, ticked the boxes for what I needed it to do and I downloaded it. Okay, so I downloaded it onto the Windows computer. I do see that it is available also on Linux and Mac. Um, <laughs> let me go over this again. It's totally free. It didn't cost a penny. Um, but as I said a bit earlier in the video, the guy, Christoph, who put this software together, um, is definitely going to get a donation from me. And actually, if I jump back here quickly, there is a donation button just here that we can do. Um, and I'm going to donate him um, a few quid um, so that he can go and get himself a, a pizza and a bottle of wine or something. Um, as I say, there's all the softwares out there. They may well be quicker. This took a total of, um, must have been about 33 minutes roughly, um, to go through the whole process and that was a total of just under 350 photographs and movie files um, and that's what I needed to recover. I recovered it from uh, my Android device. I took, I removed the SD, that was a, a micro SD card that was in the phone. I removed it, put it into one of these wee adapters and then I stuck it into the Windows computer down below as I showed you earlier in the video. Um, from there, I pretty much just opened up the software and followed the instructions. Let's say half an hour, just after half an hour it was sorted. So, what I'm going to do is finish up the video by saying, thanks for watching. I hope it works for you, as it worked for me. Um, if you've got any sort of feedback or questions, just drop them in the box below on the YouTube page. Um, listen, I wish you well. I hope you get your stuff back. Um, when it happened to me this morning, uh, I felt like crawling up into a ball and hiding. Um, there's nothing as bad as losing data um, off either a, a, you know, an external uh, drive, which I've done before as well. But just because it was personal to me, there were so many photographs of holidays, my kids, family, the whole thing. I, I just knew I had to do something this morning to get this fixed. Um, so I'm signing off now. I wish you well for the future and I hope this um, option of test, di di test disk 7.0 um, helps you out. Um, as I say, leave me comments, thumbs up for me, have a good day, all the best, bye for now. Thanks for watching my videos folks, uh, there's lots more blogs and interesting stuff, um, a bunch of videos over on my blog site and that's gregorycooper.co.uk 
Um, there's lots of cool stuff related to the creative industry, funny stuff, music, reviews, uh, technology, uh, TVs and movies, and just general stuff that I found when I'm out and about on the internet. So give us a wee shout, come on on over, subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm on Google Plus as well if you fancy doing that, all the information is on this website. Hopefully I'll see you soon.